In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how can you retrieve or recover a PDF's files metadata. Now, there's more to this, so please watch until the end. And if you like the content, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. A lot of people just want to watch the video and like the video and do not subscribe to the channel. So if you like the content, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media. So let's get started. And now I have recently created an OSINT masterclass training in which you will learn how you can find someone's personal email address and personal phone number using OSINT. If you want to get 25% discount on the course subscribe to the newsletter you will not only get the discount but you'll also get the cyber studio awesome toolkit plus two mini courses on how you can unlock vulnerable cards using replay attack and how you can hack your own wi-fi network using os x all of this is going to be in the link in the description and let's start our video all right so here we have a file called pdf metadata and it's a very simple pdf file once we open it, it's just a sample that shows you how you can extract metadata from a file using the EXIF tool. And if you do not know what is the EXIF tool, EXIF tool is basically a tool that's used to read metadata, maybe edit data, me metadata, and remove metadata from a file, PDF file, or an image. And it actually has a lot of options and tags. I don't know all of them, but I'm going to show you how can you read PDF metadata and how can you remove PDF metadata and how you can recover PDF metadata, permanently remove or strip all the metadata without them being recovered. First of all, I'm going to need to install exiftool.exe and you can go to the official website and download it or you can go and find it in my website. All the links are going to be in my blog. So once you download the exif tool, then you want to go to where this file actually is. And in my case, it's on my desktop. And to read the metadata, all I have to do is just to type exif.exiftool.exe and then the file name. It's very simple. So let's do this. So here's the comment, exiftool.exe, PDF metadata, .pdf. And once I hit enter, I can see very interesting information. For example, I can see the author name. I can see the title, subject, creator, which means that it's been created with Latex. And I can also see the modified date, which is in 2022 uh, or 2020. And we can also see the version of the PDF text program that's been used. Now, metadata information are very, very critical and information because sometimes if you have an image, you might be able to find the geolocation of the image and the device that took the picture. Or if you have a PDF file, then you might be able to find the username of the person that has created this PDF file and the version of the program that's been used to create this file, which will give you more information to the target, for example. And let's remove all the metadata from the file. And there is an option that we can use with EXIF tool. And the option is as follows. So I'm gonna say EXIF tool.exe, and then I'm gonna say minus all and then equal space and then the PDF file name. And it's gonna be PDF metadata.pdf. So this is the one that we wanna strip all the metadata from. So now let's hit enter and now the file got updated as you can see here, here it is. Now, if we use the exact same command to read the metadata, it's exif tool and then the file name enter, you can see that a lot of information has been removed from this file. So we can see that the author, title, subject, creator, producer all have been removed from this file. So after removing the metadata from the file, I'm going to send this email to myself just as an, a demo, as an example. So I'm going to open my browser and then go to compose and add my email address and attach the PDF file that we have stripped the metadata from. And now I'm going to say send. And once I send it, I will get the email as you can see. But before we do this, I'm going to show you something, which is I'm going to remove these files. So I'm going to remove the file that we have stripped the PDF or the metadata from. And now I'm going to download the file that I have sent it to myself. As you can see, and now it's on my desktop. And if I say CLS to clear the command line, um, if I said exif tool.txt, then pdf metadata.pdf, 
which is the file that we have recently or just right now downloaded, you can see that I can not see any metadata. Now the question is how can I recover it? Well, there's an option that EXIF tool actually uses called PDF update. And with this file, all the metadata are going to be recovered to the PDF file. So let's do this. I'm going to say EXIF tool again. And then I'm going to say minus PDF minus update and then all and equal space and then the file name and it's called PDF metadata to PDF. I'm going to hit enter and you can see that the file or the image file got updated. Now it's not an image, it's a PDF file, but it got updated. Now, if we typed exif tool again and then added the file name and hit enter, you can see that we were able to recover the metadata to the file and i think this is very very dangerous because if someone used exif tool to remove or strip the metadata from the file and then sent it to you via email then you will be able to recover all the metadata using the following option so if you want to strip all the metadata and make it unrecoverable then we want to use the exact same step that we have done before using the exif tool and then we will use a tool called qpdf that will make recovering the metadata very hard and in my case, I weren't able to recover the metadata. So first of all, I'm going to read the metadata using the EXIF tool again. And you can see that here are the metadata. And now I need to remove them using the minus all equal space option. Enter. And then this will update the file. So if I read the PDF file again, it's gonna. See, you can see that uh, all the metadata has been stripped. Now they are recoverable using the EXIF tool. But... To make it unrecoverable, then you want to use the QPDF tool. So I have downloaded, the links are going to be in my blog. And now I need to go to the file location. And here it is. And I'm going to copy the path. And then I say CD and then go to the path where the executable file actually is. And then I'm going to close this window. And now I'm going to say QPDF.exe, which is the binary that we want to execute. And now I'm going to add an option called minus linearize and now i need to put the original file that i want to remove all the metadata from and i want to like make it unrecoverable i'm gonna just drag and drop it in here and now i want to add the path and the new name of the file that you want to send to the person so he cannot recover the metadata from it so i'm just going to copy the path because i want to save it on my desktop and instead of calling it pdf metadata i'm just going to call it new.pdf and then hit enter and you can see that we have a new file on the desktop called new pdf now let me go to my desktop and after going to the desktop i want to read the metadata and you can see that it has no metadata in it and now let's try to recover the metadata using the method that we have used before So once we do this, we're going to get an error file contains no previous exif tool update. So the file has not been updated. And now we can send the new .pdf file to anybody we want. Now there are programs that you can use to strip the metadata like PDF24 toolbox. And this is only a program that actually manages PDF files like it extracts pages or merge pages or maybe split pages, reduces the file size removes the metadata, etc. So I have used the remove metadata option to see whether I can recover the metadata after um, removing the met metadata from it. And using the EXIF tool, you cannot recover the metadata that were removed by PDF24. And this means that, and this is only my conclusion, if you use EXIF tool to remove the metadata and then send the file to the person that you want to send the file to, then the person will be able to recover the metadata. But if you have used other programs like PDF24, for example, or any other program, then with this option, PDF update option, you cannot recover the metadata when they get stripped from another program and not from the exit tool. And another thing that I want to mention is that do not upload your PDF files, like very important PDF files to the internet to remove the metadata. I know there are a lot of services, but who knows, maybe they are saving the metadata or maybe they are saving copy from the file. So I do not trust any online website that provide the service. Maybe if, if there is a file that's not important at all, that has no information, no valuable information, then maybe, but 
I don't like to use any online service to remove the metadata. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and staying until the end. If you are still watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media for more content.